The earth harbors a multitude of peerless creatures, with certain ones inhabiting the skies, others dwelling within the depths of the oceans, yet the majority maintaining their presence on land. Remember those classic Looney Tunes animations. The antics of that coyote portrayed an undeniable menace, yet the true extent of the danger posed by various creatures remains often underestimated. Brace yourself, as we're about to delve into a realm where the world's most hazardous terrestrial animals reside. Number 6. Hippopotamus From one set of powerful jaws to another, the hippopotamus has a mighty bite that puts it amongst the most powerful jawed creatures on the planet. These big beasts are really aggressive, but they mostly use their jaws to eat plants up to 80 pounds of grass a day. In fact, hippos are generally herbivores, although they do sometimes eat dead animals, which includes the occasional hippo as well, huh? Vikes. A grumpy hippo will show its displeasure by opening its mouth really super wide in a super threatening manner, or by charging towards the source of its irritation, kind of sounds like my grandmother. Either way, they may look cute, but keep a safe distance because these creatures can be fatally bad tempered apart from the hippo's mighty jaw. Their immense weight is another source of their power, a charging hippos. A scary sight to behold, and they can and free frequently do squash living things to death. Even if by accident, even though that looks like a grin, these guys are not as friendly as they may seem interactions with humans can be fatal. Hippo attacks are known to kill as many as 500 people per year, and these deadly animals are fierce, fiercely territorial, defending their space with the use of deadly force without a second thought. So you should really be careful where you paddle that canoe. Number five, the Komodo dragon. The wonderfully weird Komodo dragon has the honor of being the world's heaviest lizard and it doesn't disappoint. These guys are really big and absolutely awesome. Even though they can't fly or breathe fire for that matter, there is something that's really extraordinary that blows my mind. Komodo dragons are huge, but it's easy to find out their weight because they do come with scales after all and they can weigh more than 300 pounds. But when you consider that these guys can eat 80% of their own weight in just one meal, the, that explains how they manage to get to such an impressive size. Oh, and these big monitor lizards, they're actually psychos. Seriously, they have some of the most ruthless and downright terrifying murder skills in the animal kingdom. Even though they might look a little cute and entertaining at times, the Komodo dragon has a nasty venomous bite which means that even if their prey does manage to escape their powerful jaws, they're still in deep, deep trouble. The venom works its way slowly causing gradual paralysis for the unfortunate recipient until they're eventually rendered completely helpless. That's when the dragon will begin its feast. As if the idea of being slowly eaten alive by a savage lizard isn't enough to give you nightmares, then you should know that these guys do, in fact, sometimes partake of the odd human, and they aren't really fussy if that human happens to be alive or dead. These grave robbing reptiles are known for digging up corpses and eating them. For the Komodo dragon, the more stinky and rotten the flesh, the better. Number four, Brazilian wandering spiders. The distinctly sinister sounding wandering spider has the dubious privilege of being considered the world's most venomous spider by the Guinness Book of World Records. But just how bad could that really be? Well, as it turns out, it can be very, very bad indeed. So if you find yourself wandering the Brazilian forest, be sure to be careful where you step. These extraordinary arachnids don't build webs to catch their prey. They actually wander the forest floor during the night and hunt it down. The scary spiders, a fan of both ambush hunting and the classic direct attack. Although they mainly hunt and eat other spiders and insects, these creatures are also known to munch on mice, reptiles, and amphibians. So, they probably won't bite a human in order to eat it as such, but it will bite if threatened or surprised, and that is going to hurt. A bite from a Brazilian wandering spider will usually kind of go like this. It begins with extreme burning where the victim was bitten, followed by sweating and goosebumps, and then the nasty stuff. I'm sure I'm not doing a great deal for you arachnophobes out there, but trust me, which can include higher, low blood pressure and faster slow heartbeat, and this varies as the body tries to figure out how to handle the systemic attack. 
then a combination of sickness, stomach pains, vertigo, blurred vision, hypothermia, heavy sweating, and convulsions as the shock sets in. But wait, there's more. The severity of this reaction will depend on how much venom is actually in the bite, but you can't really tell until it's too late. The good news, if you're unlucky enough to be bitten by one of these spiders, you should seek immediate medical treatment, and that will probably fix you right up. The things they can do with anti-venom and all that are really amazing these days. Number three, the cassowary. Now, if there was ever a bird that showed the likely evolution of dinosaurs into modern birds, this one, I mean, come on, look at it, is probably it. Tell me that's not a ruddy dinosaur. The cassowary has been given the ominous title of world's most dangerous bird, and there's a very good reason for this. These crazy-looking flightless birds can kill you with one swipe of their foot. No, seriously. Cassowary are native to parts of Asia and Australia, and as a listed dangerous exotic bird. So if you want to breed them, you're gonna need a permit. The blue-faced helmet-headed cassowary can grow as tall as six feet, six inches, and weigh up to as much as 132 pounds. So if one of these attacks, it's not exactly like being set upon by a sparrow. The cassowary is equipped with a lethal weapon having three toes on each foot, and one of these toes is essentially a dagger. It's been recorded that cassowary have literally eviscerated humans with this knife-sharp toenail. It's so efficient that it can easily sever a limb from a person that is one dangerous toe. These birds do need some serious podiatrist intervention. A 75-year-old man in Florida was once attacked by his own casa at his home and was so badly injured by the attack that he actually died. These modern-day dinosaurs can and just might kill you. Number two the hooded pitohui. Now don't be fooled by this little bird's innocent appearance because the pitohui is actually poisonous, the only bird on the planet that's known to have toxic feathers. In fact, the guy that discovered the bird's secret weapon didn't actually realize that he had a lucky escape because after catching the pitohui in a net, he touched his face after handling the birds in his lips, then went numb, alarmed by the discovery. Although he really should have probably been practicing hand-washing hygiene, don't you think? He then sent some of the bird's feathers in for analysis, and the results would show that the little bird was actually full of a toxin that was so deadly that it's literally what's used to make poison arrows. The only other place that this toxin has found is the skin of the poisonous dart frog. It seems as though that pitohui don't actually make the deadly toxin in their bodies. They actually get it from their food they're particularly partial to beetles, which contain the toxin. The birds, although unaffected themselves by eating the beetles, do make themselves to other would-be predators. The bright shock of orange feathers may actually be like a natural world warning label. So I guess the whole moral of the story here, don't go licking birds, at least not the poisonous ones. Number one, tiger. Beautiful, mysterious, beloved tigers are the biggest of all big cats and they're also amongst the most dangerous beasts in all of the animal kingdom. So, the thing with tigers is that they're pretty massive. They're fast and they have a lot of really pointy things that they're not afraid to use. Their claws each measure four inches and their teeth are three inches long and presented in a huge and extremely powerful jaw. The perfect combination for doing a lot of violent dining. Although tigers don't favor humans for their tea time, there are a whole bunch of reasons that these scary animals are more frequently getting into a man-eating situation. There are estimated to be only about 3,200 tigers left in the wild, but their habitats are being eroded by the expansion of human towns and cities into the places where tigers live. Add to that the fact that humans do still seem hell-bent on killing as many of them as possible for their skin bone and alleged magical medicinal properties and their numbers stand very little chance of recovery. So for now, tigers are hunted by humans and they're actually also being pushed out by humans. So this means that those humans are having quite a lot of contact with these apex predators. And that means that tigers are kind of getting used to people and they don't really fear us anymore. And that is bad news for you and me. In fact, that is bad news to the sound of at least 50 people killed by tigers per year in one area of India alone. Some estimates even put that number at 250 people, 
and yet somehow Joe Exotic survived. Who knew just how dangerous it actually gets out there? Please excuse me while I go build myself a nice, safe bunker away from all this deadly stuff and underground. Be sure to leave your comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.